Hi, welcome back to another edition of Gray Hair and Tattoos. My name is Lonnie, and today I'm gonna show you the outfit that I picked out for you from Amazon. I think it's super cute. You can wear it in the fall, you can wear it in the winter. I'm gonna show you the outfit, then some variations on how you can make this one outfit into multiple outfits. It's gonna be a fun episode, so be sure to grab a drink, sit down, relax, like and follow, and let me show you what I just found for you. Mm, it's gonna be so much fun. Now, before we start, I do wanna let you know that I am an Amazon influencer, so here is my disclosure right here. Any outfit that I pick out, anytime I shop, anytime I show you something, I think it's ageless. I never put an age with an outfit or with clothes. You're out there and you're like, oh, well, you know what, I'm younger, I don't know if I'm gonna like it you're gonna like it. And if you're out there and you're like my age, you're like, hmm, I don't know, am I too mature to wear it? You're never too mature to wear anything. Let's go ahead and get started and take a look at this amazing outfit I keep telling you about, but I haven't shown you yet. So let's look. The first part of this outfit is this amazing sweater. I absolutely love animal print and I wear it as often as I can year around. A couple of things that I really liked about this sweater is not only the animal print, but I like the fact that it was loose and it was flowing. It has dolman sleeves, meaning it's not gonna be super tight up underneath your armpits. This would be a great sweater for layering. I liked the brown because it just kind of gives it a little bit of a different look. It's nice, it's warm, it's snuggly. So the first thing we're starting with for our outfit is this amazing sweater. Now, you have your sweater, you have to have some pants. So I'm gonna show you my favorite boyfriend jeans that we're gonna wear with this sweater. The jeans that I picked out are these distressed boyfriend jeans. Now if you're out there, and again, if you are um, mature or my age, do not let anybody ever tell you you cannot wear distressed jeans. I think they're cute, I think they're timeless, and they're my favorite style. I tell you, if I have a pair of jeans that are, don't have holes in the knees, I'm like, what's wrong with my jeans? So you can wear distressed jeans at any age. And these particular jeans, the Morgan distressed jeans, I absolutely love. I have these and these jeans have just the right amount of oversize to feel like you borrowed them from your boyfriend. They're soft and they run true to size. So we have this distressed jean with that nice sweater. Now we need one more thing. We need one more standout piece to make this outfit and then we're gonna add some accessories and what we're gonna add to this is a pair of chunky loafers. Now, if you're gonna invest in a pair of shoes this season, I vote for chunky loafers. I see them all over the place. They're super cute and you can wear them with so many different things. And I added them to this outfit. I think it gives it a really cute look. You have your distressed jeans and you roll them up on the bottom and that allows people to see your shoes and what an amazing pair of shoes. I love these. These are from Tint Street. They have great ratings and they're reasonably priced. You have this amazing sweater. You have these distressed boyfriend jeans that are just like, hey, you know what? I'm super hip. Then you have these chunky loafers. It is just, this outfit is just looking amazing. We have the sweater, we have the jeans, we have the loafers. Now, what I picked next was the top you gotta wear underneath that sweater. So let's take a look at that. So I picked out a basic black tank, and this one is from The Drop. The reason I wanted to do that is because I wanted the sweater for this particular outfit to be the standout um, print. I think a basic black tank under anything, under blazers, under sweaters, by themselves, is a really nice look. It's very clean, and to me, it was adding to just this perfect look. Now we have the sweater, we have the tank, we have the jeans, we have the shoes, and now we're just gonna add some accessories to give it an, a, a little overround kind of pop. The accessories I picked out for you, starting off with the sunglasses. I think sunglasses are a really cute way just to add a little bit of a, your own style and your own flair to any outfit. I picked out these vintage kind of retro cat eye glasses. If you've never tried this particular frame, 
try it. They're so cool. And you can get them in different colors. And for this particular outfit, I picked a tortoise shell because it kind of has that brown and black kind of going together with the sweater and the shoes, brings everything all together. The next thing I added is this cute little layered bohemian silver um, necklace. My jewelry is typically very minimalistic. I don't typically do big chunky jewelry just because that's my taste. I picked out this layering necklace. I thought it just gave a little bit of a subtle look around the neckline and again, tying everything in together. The silver in the necklace matches the silver on the buckle of your shoe. Just kind of a co cohesive look, bringing everything all together. One more thing I wanna add, and that is a pair of socks. And I picked out these socks. I thought these cute little scrunchy cream socks would just bring everything together. If you are in an area where it's warmer, I would probably go with some no-show socks just to give the difference between the bottom of your jeans being rolled up and your loafers, or you could go with some ankle socks. Just in case you are in an area where it's colder, I think a pair of chunky socks that are pushed down gives this outfit a really cool look. And again, I think this outfit is timeless and it's ageless, meaning you can wear this outfit this year, next year, and the year after that. I personally think you're gonna get a lot of use out of all of these pieces. From the top, you have your sunglasses, you have your necklace, your tank top, your sweater, your jeans, your socks, and your shoes. You can mix and match and do all sorts of things with this outfit, and that's what we're gonna do next. It's as simple as changing out that tank top and putting a graphic tee underneath your sweater. All of my t-shirts are graphic tees and I love mixing patterns. So if you have like a band t-shirt, put it underneath that sweater, mix your patterns. It's going to make this outfit feel like a new outfit. Another thing you can do is you can go back to, let's go back to the beginning. Just gonna replace the sweater with a bomber jacket. That will give it a totally different vibe. Where the sweater is a little bit dressier, your bomber jacket is really casual, modern, and it gives it a nice look. So swap out the sweater, add a bomber jacket with your necklace and your sunglasses in your jeans and your shoes. Again, new looking outfit just by changing one thing. The last variation I'm gonna tell you about is I would actually swap out the pants for a pair of camo pants. I know you're sitting out there and you're like, Lonnie, animal print and camo, are you crazy? Well, yes, but I absolutely love mixing patterns. And I wear my animal print with my camo all the time. It is so much fun and you can do so many variations and have fun prints. I would keep everything and just swap out those jeans for a pair of camo pants. Again, you are going to feel like it's a completely different outfit. And that one is going to just give it a little bit more of an edge and absolutely love that idea. I'm always pushing the envelope and I'm always like, you know what, if this is cool, this is even cooler. Give yourself that freedom to play around. So that's the outfit that I picked out for you and all the variations that you can do with this one particular outfit. Now I'm a firm believer and I'm gonna say it again before I say goodbye is fashion is not about the price tag and fashion is not about so much what you're wearing, but about how it makes you feel. Give yourself that freedom to experiment with patterns, to try different things. If you like it, great wear it. If you don't, keep mixing it up until you find your authentic style that makes you feel like the best version of you. And I hope today that I gave you some ideas of maybe being like, hmm, I can't put these together. Because that's ideally what my entire motivation is, is just to show you that regardless as to what age you are, you can play with fashion and you can have fun just like anybody else. 
So that's it. That was my outfit for today. That was all my inspirational. And I hope that you had a fun time. I know I love shopping for you if you have not noticed. I will be doing this more often, so be sure to like and follow. I would love to hear your comments. Is there a particular style, particular outfit you're looking for that you need me to help you with? Let me know. I would love to come up with different outfit ideas for you that you actually, um, that you need. Do you have a holiday party coming up? Do you have um, maybe an interview? Are you going on a date? Let me know. I will help style you. So until next time, please remember, wear what you want and tell yourself something kind and I will see you on the next episode. Bye.